Hey everyone, Alex from Console Warriors here with my good buddy William and our Hi. mutual good buddy Amanda, aka Hitsuki. How is everyone doing today? I'll just yeah, live in the dream. I'm all right. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, today we just finished watching WandaVision. The first two episodes just dropped on Disney Plus, and we were going to have a little side chat about what we thought of this and uh, where, where it's going. And if you guys so, at home uh, like this, uh, let us know, and we will continue to have these uh, I, every time. I would, I would drops. just like to say, Alex. Yeah. Spoiler warning, probably. Oh yeah, upfront spoilers. Uh, so if you're interested in going to, in seeing this for yourself, go ahead uh, or find out however you want. I mean, I, not everyone feels inclined to get a Da Plus account. Uh, that's why I call it Da Plus. <laughs> we uh, in Da Plus now. Yeah, but anyway, uh, let, let's uh, start start things off here. Uh, so what 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 kind of impression did uh, this make on you guys these first two episodes that we just watched? Uh, they made a great impression. Um, they I kind of liked the way they were doing the sitcom thing, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it felt like very like I like that they went to the two different decades. Yeah, that's. I mean, that it, for. Uh, that that's kind of how they're they're doing this show is uh it, is it's kind of based on on old timey sitcoms and it and as things uh, progress I I think they're moving from decade to decade you know because here we had like a cla started off in the first episode with like a classic fifties black and white sitcom and then it, and then the next episode we're we're kind of it we're kind of getting around to like the the seventies era it, it, and start to introduce some color and and. Well, while while it plays very true to like these uh, sitcom the the, the sitcom uh, angle that they're going for, there's undertones and like hints that something's just not quite right with uh, with this world. And the they, one that I, I will have to say um, that's at like the very end was well, I noticed this. So the symbol on the helicopter that she picked up that was in color. This is all in the second episode, I believe. Uh, she walks yeah. outside, and then there's, like, a uh, colored helicopter that has, like, a symbol on it. And towards the end of the episode, there's this beehive guy that comes out of a manhole cover. Yeah. Well, and then uh, he has the symbol on his back. Yeah, I, I didn't catch what the symbol was, but... Uh, yeah. I don't know what it is. I'll probably that, have that, to look it up later or something. Yeah, that, I, that's I, that's probably something that will be addressed in, in the near future. But, uh, mm -hmm. Amanda, what, what, did, what, what did you think? Uh, just your quick overall thoughts. Well, I, I appreciate the um, subtle subtleties to this um, series. Like, for example, episode one was definitely, you know, 50s sitcom with the style and everything like that. And then by episode two, it just suddenly transitioned into like the 60s. And it wasn't really addressed. It just kind of, it just, you just kind of had to have caught it, you know. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, we we were talking about this for a bit. Like, it, like there's a lot of anachronistic uh, issues. Like, for for example, you you were telling me that because uh, uh, Wanda in the second episode she goes from wearing that fifty style dress to wearing pants, wearing something a bit more modern. And, so yes, Alec, there's a lot of uh, visual um, like things you got to notice. Like visually, they I like that they didn't pay attention to that. Uh, the like visual styles changing, it just kind of did. Mm -hmm. I think only one character actually made a comment that she was wearing pants, and um, well, that well, that was well, you can explain that. Yeah, it, it so, um, one of the things that's kind of interesting about 60s style is that when women first started wearing pants, it was kind of considered a little bit taboo, um, at least from my understanding, and so. You know, it was kind of a sort of alternate, you know, sort of counterculture kind of thing. And it, it's not like it's as big as, like, the hippies or the beatniks or anything like that. It was just, you know, a lot of times women were just seen in dresses and hose. You know, they they rarely wore pants. Um, so it was definitely interesting how it, the visuals kind of indicate that there's something 
more there and there was almost a certain um point of reality check that she kind of had towards the end um which it's nice that they're not just going to like shove the story straight into your face they want you to figure it out and i do appreciate that yeah oh, yeah like like it it it, we we kind of know as an audience that something's just not right with this whole setup because last we saw we saw Wanda it was was probably at the around an end game it, she had lost vision at, which which is really weird given here he seems perfectly fine and they, there's like they're in like they seem to be in like some kind of simulation or something and they there's on and Wanda and Vision are on at least some level aware that that something is not quite right because uh, it, Vision is at his job at the business place where he does the work stuff. Uh, yeah, he, and he's he, like, "What do we do here?" Yeah, what what is the purpose? They never what, explain. Yeah, what what what, what, what do we do? What, what 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 does our company make? What 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 is this all for? And nobody can give him a straight answer. So I'm getting like Pleasantville vibes. I don't know if either of you have seen that movie. Yeah, um, yeah, the one with the uh, Tobey Maguire. Well, I don't, I don't know about the actor, but like it, those the, these kids, you like don't know it. About the <laughs> well, I, yeah, did, no, I, I, I don't. It's about, been a while yeah. since I've seen the movie, so I don't know um, who was in it. <laughs> there's something I wanted to point out though. Sure. About the one creepy scene with um the actress who plays Kitty in that 70s show. Yes. Oh yeah. She's in this show. That, that was um, amazing. At one point. You know, you remember how she kept on saying "stop it" and then just like laughing, and I kind of had, yeah, I kind of had a realization while watching it is that she was actually, she was actually kind of hinting towards, um, towards a uh, Wanda. She kind of looked at her and she said, kind of in a serious tone. Stop it. She was looking at Wanda while she said stop it, almost as if so a way maybe, to say... Maybe Wanda's creating this reality is what you're saying? Yeah, we, like we, we get, kind we of, get, but I also, I also think that maybe some of the people in this world are in on it and know what's going on and yeah. know of her abilities and powers and everything like that because, like I said, it started out that, for context, that basically her husband started choking and so... She's like, oh, oh, stop it! You know, just kind of like in a way of well, like kind of a jest. Well, it, and then well, she... it, the, the the weird thing about that was like it, uh, the the boss said that before he started choking, he was like questioning Wanda and Vision what their story was because they in in you know in, in the movies and stuff they never got married they 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 don't mm-hmm. have an anniversary or a song or anything and it, and that's and the husband's like asking them what. But when did you get married? What and then keeps it questioning them, and they can't answer because they don't seem to they know. Don't know. And then, Act- and then the wife is explicitly t- t- trying to brush it off, saying, you know, try- trying to step around that, like as though she was part of the simulation, like trying Actually, to reinforce. It. I think she was like telling him offhandedly in a weird way, like you know, oh, stop it, or this is gonna happen, something bad's gonna happen. Oh, and then, then, um, then he then he starts choking and. And then yeah. Yeah. she's like a broken record going, stop it, stop it. But and, I was just pointing out, yeah. notice how she looked at Wanda with yeah. some of the uh, yeah, last few ones where she, I think she knows about Wanda's abilities. But I kind of also had another epiphany yeah. that maybe they don't necessarily know that they're in a simulation. But here's something that's interesting about psychology. Some, sometimes visual cues can bring back memories and then that can kind of um make you kind of regress i guess and i think that's what happened with the beekeeper scene where you know she basically rewinds time um Mm -hmm. i think it wasn't necessarily that she's fully aware that she's in a simulation but rather she was trying to um push away the beekeeper or you know I, i don't know maybe she is aware that she's in an alternate reality maybe she wants to stay in the simulation yeah, you know? the vision's still there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, you, you you get hints at, at at kind of both things, whether she's aware and and keeping them there purposefully, or she doesn't quite seem to know because she's shaken when she sees that that toy helicopter and ha- how it was in color. And then there was the scene with the radio where, where someone is trying to get through to her and saying, "Wanda, Wanda, it, it, who did this to you?" So it, it's a bit that's of both. also interesting. Yeah. 
it's also interesting that you point out that scene because at one point um the uh dotty the um you know yeah neighbor Didn't she like cut her hand or whatever yeah she cut her hand but not only that but she was starting to confront wanda about who she was and she started mm-hmm. to say something about her identity and then as soon as the radio came on like all of a sudden she just dropped it and then just started acting like a normal neighbor again so what i so think what, it is is probably I, see i don't know what this could be honestly it sounds to me kind of like corrective so, um some, it's a corrective uh, yeah <laughs> like a, like a corrective facility but um I, no, I, I, I meant oh, oh, like sorry, sorry. I, I what I meant was in certain situations it's like with certain um brainwashing and things like that, there's known as like oh god, I can't remember the term of it. Um it has something to do with corrective behavior. That's it. Corrective behavior. And that's where they will actually trigger something, they will do something either with and they do this with hypnosis too where either they will use a sound cue, a physical cue, or something like that. And some they had shock therapy for a while that, that kind of did that too, um, where they will like send something that causes them to understand that if you don't comply, you will suffer. So I don't know if it's like some sort of hypnosis thing, or but it was, a, it was definitely a corrective behavior situation. I... I think uh, on that some of these people, uh, they're being held there against their will because, uh, like yeah. I said, she she I mean, kind of yeah, breaks. There's like she there's breaks like character, a... and she's wondering wh- where is she? What who is who is Wanda? What is what is all this? Which, by the way, we should note is the little girl from Captain Marvel grown up. That's mm-hmm. Lieutenant Trouble. Oh. Oh wait, wait. Je- <laughs> you mean that 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 girl that 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 Wanda was getting along with? Yeah, that, I thought that's who you were talking about. Sorry. Oh no, Do- Dottie was was the was the was was you know the really stuck up one that had a bad attitude towards. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, no. For some reason, well, she was in the meeting, and my brain just kind of went like, yeah. "Oh, okay, yeah, okay." Uh, but just, I mean, it, it, it's it's just really weird. And from from I think a moment in the trailer was uh, was someone else like. Re- I think it's there's going to be like another moment where it, where it, there's like this break in the illusion and somebody realizes that Vision it was one of the Avengers and is asking is he there to save them? Uh, that, that's going to happen in a future episode. I, I saw. Yeah, in, like, I trailer. think there in the trailer there's also uh, well her name is Monica Rambo but yeah she she uh she's like in the seventy second I think in the trailer she was asked like who are you and she goes I don't know. Yeah, they, because I mean, they, they, they're, 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 Wanda and Vision aren't the only ones trapped here, and you, you don't seem, and it's hard to tell who's in on it, uh, like, like who's part, part of like enforcing it, like, like maybe the, 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 the boss's wife was seemed to be, or if you know, ev- everyone's just like trapped I here feel, and forced to play. You know what I feel like it is. Mm-hmm. I feel like, in a weird way, they're all in on it but for different reasons Hmm. but they didn't think it was going to get this out of control i think Hmm. that's what it is is like they originally signed up to do this but then they it things got out of control and they now they're stuck Hmm. Mm -hmm. does that make sense i think these people were like kidnapped and take and taken to to this and put into like some kind of matrix yeah that's a good. Uh, it's also a good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but it, what, what, watching this, I mean, you you you, you get like these hints at, at the bigger picture, but but also like it it tells like a like a standard sitcom setup, uh, like like the first episode, you know, the boss is coming home for dinner, and then you know that that whole play, played played out. They think it's that Wanda thinks it's the anniversary and. Yeah, and it, 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 like the classic misunderstanding, and uh, I, I've seen a lot of sitcoms, and this is why I don't really like 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 them, you know, too too much because I've seen all these tropes before, and they they're just cringe inducing for me. But I, the one thing I do like well, about I mean, this show, I, I, I can speak to Alex. Like you know, it was definitely a thing of the times where that was during that time that was wasn't a trope yet. 
Yeah. But now it is. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it really shows it's shows it now but also i will say though that's kind of what they were going for i feel like yeah that's that's definitely that's definitely what they were going for but i'm just i'm just like acknowledging it and i mean it and then then you know the second episode is like this weird talent show and there there was like a a few more creepy things there like uh it, like it, like it, like it, Vision goes into like this meeting with the other neighborhood watch or whatever, and then he he's he's just like, oh yes, I have top secret uh, gossip as well, and then he and then he calls out one of the guys at the table, says he's a communist, and I'm like, what? And it, and then they all just laugh it off. I'm like, I, I was afraid I it was like it was going to get time, dark. That would actually be kind of a concerning thing. I'm, well, they did have the um, what was known as the uh, the red. Oh scare. God. It, yeah, they they had where they basically locked up anybody who was thought to have been a communist at the yeah, time. Yeah, I, I, I was really scared it was about to go dark there, and then and then it just kind of walks around that it's very very like explicitly. Yeah, I like the fact that he got the gum stuck. That was that okay. So some of the humor is still funny instead of like like there's like there's some like but it's funny not in like the mc movies where i like laugh out loud uh but there it still like has a bit of charm to it oh, kind that's... of and it still makes you laugh oh yeah that's that's one thing i i want i wanted to it to address is um it as much as you know the the sitcom stuff it, it you know i i i yeah, that that's not something I'm a big fan of, but I, that that's what they're going for, and you know all this creepy, weird undertones and stuff. One thing that is genuine and true is the love that that Wanda and Vision have for each other. Their relationship, their yeah. like their their chemistry, that is very real, very palpable, and I like that 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 is prominent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like that it kind of has to be because I mean the show is called One Vision. <laughs> not mean to sound rude, but like it, I mean. Well, I'm not trying to be rude, but it is kind of like I, if you don't have them as like their love as a center focus, because sometimes shows will have characters in the title or movies, Mad Max, and then the character doesn't really do much <laughs> in that world. But yeah. this one, I like that they're keeping them the center focus and they're. Well, they 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 are the protagonists. Like the, there's like this one na- neighbor character, uh, who is kind of unset- unsettling. It, like they, she, they, like they they keep dropping these hints that she that her home life isn't really all that great, and yeah. she and then like in the second episode she comes up to Wanda and is like, oh, if it isn't you know the the main character. And they um, almost. Yeah, you know, you know, you know what I just realized, Alex. Wow. That you were right. Okay, I need to address this. As <laughs> so, me and Alex were talking about this in between watching the second episode. Watched the first one, and he was like, "Oh well, you know, I feel like they're gonna divorce, or the husband's gonna divorce." Blah, blah, blah. And then, because remember, she was talking about how she had a husband. In this next episode, the next decade, she's like, "Oh, my husband disappeared," and I was like, "Wow, Alex no, was right." No, no, no. She's saying, it, it, "Maybe you should make my husband disappear," and it, you know, rag, ragging on him, continuing that joke, and then it gets more unsettling the more she brings it up, and plus the fact that we never see her husband yes. calls into question whether whether it, that that's that's made up too, and she ex, she like exudes more more problematic behavior by. By openly drinking alcohol at the at the town meeting, and then she's like, "I don't know how any of us can do with this without 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 a drink." And that's yeah. that just that just got that just while while there's still like a laugh track going and everything, so there's like a real dissonance between the moods. Yeah, and that 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 that's that's just some something I I want to keep my eye on and. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. Of, I mean, what I like about this show, and I do like it so far, is that it's not, when you think about it, it's not Marvel's normal type of thing, like, in more ways than one. Like, normally, there's action, and then you have a few laughs. This is, like, completely different. It's like, you have a few laughs, but there's no action. 
yet and i mean it, it is yes, it is basically but... a sitcom so you, the action is not really something we, we should well, expect I know, to see but like i, I kind of like that they're doing something at least not starting it off like that they're doing something different, different like like than, this uh, is yeah. this is completely different from every other pro project that marvel has done before and that is mm -hmm. exhilarating especially because we're going to get a lot more of these marvel tv shows and seeing them finally doing something different stepping away from that mold from the mold of the movies and and, yeah, it, and it's it's really i'm really happy that they're doing that because i feel like they had their time when they were like all right we had our big finale or finale of that phase technically well actually i don't know if they call it i would call that a finale of the phase with a end game yeah. you know they said that spider-man far from home and these shows are still the continuation of that yeah they said like shang chi is the the first in our phase four and i'm like that's the first one in your phase four yeah uh, i mean it, i mean how it, long is this phase well, yeah. Well, Spider-Man: Far From Home was more like a, a like a soft epilogue. Um, it, was, it, for, it was kind of like an epilogue slash transition of like yeah, like they we, they're they're addressing the fallout of Endgame, how how that kind of impacted things, while setting setting up new new ideas for for new stories for the future, especially with what where, where a potential future where Spider-Man could be the face, uh, replacing Iron yeah. Man. Well, then there's also, like, um, okay, I want to talk about the shows a little bit that are coming up, because there's a lot of good ones that are coming oh, yeah. up. Yeah, we there's, got uh, Loki. I'm excited for Moon Knight, personally. Um, I, I was talking with Amanda about Moon Knight. This is way later, but they also have, like, you know, um, he suffers from, what is it, disassociative identity disorder or something like that? Oh, is yeah, it? he's a he's Yeah, dissociative identity disorder. <clears throat> And I and it's like they said it's like an action type Indiana Jones style uh, adventure thing based in like Egyptian, like you know with an Egyptian background. And I'm actually that actually seems interesting. Also uh, Loki, I am excited for Loki too. I was a little skeptical at first, but then when I saw the preview, I was like, wow, this actually looks interesting. And I wonder if like that the the organization that kind of grabs him it has something to do with what's going on with wanda and vision here i you know it might i've not since brother that does kind of raise the question like could it be could this be like i mean obviously it's connected but like connected more so than we thought like yeah because i mean it, we 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 know that from from the announcements that Loki, Doctor Strange, and the new Spider-Man movie and WandaVision all kind of have threads hit through them. Like, so, like well, there's Loki also is. there's also uh, technically Captain Marvel too because the oh yeah Monica plays the Ten Trouble. Monica's in that too. Yeah, they, I mean, we'll, we'll we'll just have to wait wait and see more of uh, of how all that plays out. Um, but like I said, it the Overall, pr pretty pretty solid start to the show. Um, uh, it it leaves me wanting more. I and I love like the like the the sitcom style is like transitioning through through the decades. Like it like the the first the first episode was kind of like an I love Lucy kind kind of intro, and the next one yeah. was I Dr of uh, uh, but more of a bewitched style opening. Yeah, mm. I do like that they're doing a different they're doing the different intros with each decade which is actually probably the best thing for yeah. this kind I, I, of format i can't wait to see uh the, them do a that 70s shows kind kind of uh intro especially considering that <laughs> yeah kitty's well, in it that's gonna be the 90s technically oh well yeah it was a 90s sitcom obviously uh but, but it, based in the 70s well the, but it, it, that, that could be a lot, a lot of fun. And we're, we've now made the jump to color, so... Uh, it, yeah, at the end, uh, they moved on with... And also, Wanda is pregnant. Yeah, so. spontaneously pregnant. <laughs> and I yeah. wonder if that, that's going to be like a, like a reference to her children in the comics, because... Uh, I uh, think it is, because if you look at the trailer, 
uh, for the original trailer, like, it's kind of weird. I think they are going to be the children. I mean, now, uh, what, because... now whether they're explicitly going to be exactly like that or just, you know, a fun little reference, I mean, who, who knows? Cause, probably, uh... you, know, you know what I think this is? She recreated Vision because there's another trailer where he's awake in the present day or whatever. Uh, it looks like in color and in modern and everything else. So what I'm thinking is happening is that she somehow created those. So they might actually be character. Hmm. Well, mm-hmm. well, I and this mean, could be the start of them because remember Kevin Feige was like, "Oh, we're going to be introducing X Men and all that stuff." So this might actually be the start of mutants. Maybe. I mean, yeah. it's 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 pretty crazy because we're gonna we're gonna get into some multiversal sh- shenanigans. So anything's possible. Yeah, honestly, at this point, with uh, the fact that Vision is. Well, as far as we know, currently alive, anything is possible. I mean, he is a robot, kind, kind, like, like. No, well, okay. So, I do have questions about that too. So, like, is he technically a robot at this point? I mean, te- by, but he has emotions. I think that's because of only the soul stone. Yeah, well, I mean, like he. I mean, he he. He's a very impressive AI. I mean, he's he, he's like this really unique being, but technically he's he's not an actual like on the very technical no, sense. Yeah, he's, he he, like, he can I be rebuilt. Eat, I don't eat food. Yeah, he's like I don't eat food. Yeah. In that one line. Oh, he it's like a constant like mm-hmm. little joke like they they like these little sitcom jokes like because they they're the odd couple they gotta hide their their strangeness from from their neighbors. Like that she's that she has ma- magic powers and he's a robot that can walk through walls. Yep. And I mean, any uh, anybody got some final thoughts here? Uh, yeah, let's let's wrap up the discussion. Uh, Amanda, a- a- anything else you want to say? Um, I think it's definitely interesting and it's going to be a um, fun thing to watch. Um, I do appreciate the subtleties and the nuances and. Hopefully, um, something interesting comes out of it. You know. Yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to it. Hey, how about how about you, Will? Any, any last any last thoughts? I really hope that this. Honestly, like, I I really hope that this continues to be this good. Yeah. They, uh, yeah. Disney. Uh, they for the longest time they've had they've been had these talks about these new shows, but all they had was the Mandalorian, and now they can throw some real effort in into these shows and give give us some amazing stuff. Yeah, especially with the Marvel yeah. universe, because I like Star Wars and Marvel equally. I know people always associate me with more of a Star Wars guy, but I I do like both of them. Yeah, pretty equally. All right. Well, I I and think to see them both get this uh, this. Uh, this much attention is really makes me happy. Right. Well, I think I think that's all for uh, to, for today. Uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And let us know your thoughts on Wandavision down below. And and if it, and if you know this does well, we will we'll have another discussion when the next episode drops. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I like I like how I just put it at the very end. <laughs>